Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich is a 2018 American film and a remake of the 1989 film Puppet Master directed by David Schmuller. So I thought I would throw a bit of a curveball today because uh, a lot of people seem to not uh, not really like this movie. Uh, they seem to hate it, actually, and I, and I do get that. I personally, you know, I personally love it, uh, and it might even be my favorite Puppet Master movie of all time, which, I mean, isn't saying a whole lot. It's incredibly mean-spirited, and I, I could probably do without the, uh, as Jay Bauman from Let Red Letter Media uh, called them, uh, hate crimes. But despite that, this movie does things that uh, I wanted from the Puppet Master films, but never really got. I mean, some of those movies are really cool and all, but this one, uh, you know, takes that concept and just fucking runs with it. Like that Forrest Gump scene, you know the one I'm talking about. It just runs and just never stops. And this was directed by Sonny Laguna and Tommy Wickland and uh, was written by the always, always awesome and underrated S. Craig Zoller. And you might know him, or you should know him, from uh, some of his awesome films like Bone Tomahawk, uh, Brawl in Cell Block 99 and uh, Dragged Across Concrete. Check those all out. They're worth your time. You get a pretty solid cast here led by Thomas Lennon of uh, Reno 911 and many other things along with uh, Jenny Pelliser, uh, Nelson Franklin uh, and appearances by horror legends uh, Barbara Crampton and Udo Kier. The plot of this film seems uh, something that, that, that could have you know taken place in one of the many Puppet Master films but you know never did. The beginning has this like, super cool animated sequence uh, detailing the history of the puppet master himself, Andre Toulon. Um, man, that, that animated sequence, though, is so goddamn cool. I could have watched an entire film done in that art style. It's just, it's great. And in this film, he is a Nazi war criminal. Uh, you know, the, the, basically the complete opposite of what he was in the original puppet master film. And because of that, his puppets are... All, also Nazis. Uh, instead of, you know, the lovable and helpful little guys that we knew from the original film, they are now bloodthirsty, hateful killers. This is definitely an edgy decision, obviously. I mean, going in this direction, I mean, it, it, it's just, I guess you kind of got to give him credit for having the balls. Uh, and while I don't like seeing Toulon and, and the puppets as fucking Nazis, the kills here are just so good. And I'll be honest, uh, while I watch this, I, I, I kind of ignore the Nazi elements because, I don't know, you know, I'm a human being with compassion and empathy. But again, you get you get the kills. You get some of the craziest kill scenes you, I, I, you've probably ever seen, believe me, uh, with some very cool practical effects. The original 1989 film is much, much different in tone. Uh, it, it, you know, it's honestly, it's pretty tame by most standards nowadays, and even even for the time, it's definitely horror, but uh, campier and more playful in tone. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of it. More than anything, though, I love the puppets. So, although you know, Toulon is a cool character too. Um, in this film, he escapes Nazi Germany uh, for fear that the Nazis will steal his puppet formula to weaponize it. Talking about the the, the '89 original. Uh, now, this might be a tad controversial, but I'm going with the 2018 remake as my choice. It was tough. I had to think about it for a while, but that's, uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm going to say. Um, I do love the original again, and I almost view the remake as like puppet mastered in an alternate universe. And this might sound kind of stupid or maybe even hypocritical, but when I watch it, and I'm just being honest here, I kind of somehow mentally do, you know, do some mental gymnastics and I dance around the fact that I'm watching Nazi puppets kill minorities. Maybe I'm a piece of shit, I don't know. I, I like to think that I'm not. But if you could somehow do the same thing, this is a must see for Gorehounds. It's edgy, pretty fucking tasteless, uh, but it's just good shock value. And to me, horror is about pushing the boundaries. Maybe this film crosses a few lines that you shouldn't cross. And that that's a topic for another day. Terrifier fans though, this is definitely for you. If you haven't seen this, you're sleeping on it. You need to check it out. You'll love it. Um, the question is, which Puppet Master film do you prefer? I'm, I imagine most of you, if you like any of them or either of them at all, you, probably the original is what you're going for. And I wanted to as well, but uh, I don't know. Every, the, <laughs> the more I watch this uh, this remake, the more I I, I, uh, I like it again for, you know, the gore and the kills and that awesome intro scene at the beginning. I just love it. Barbara Crampton. Of course, Barbara Crampton's in 
the 89 original too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So which do you prefer? I, I mean, between the 89 original and, or the 2018 remake, not, you know, the 600 other Puppet Master films that came after, or I should say in between. God, there's so many. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, uh, and I hope to see you tomorrow for my seventh video in this series. Cheers, guys. Stay spooky.